Welcome to Tapform's iCloud Sync demonstration. What you're seeing here is Tapform's on the left uh, running on the Mac and Tapform's on the right running on my iPhone 5S. You can see on the left on uh, Tapform's Mac there are a few additional forms, uh, my work expenses and uh, credit and debit cards and email accounts that aren't visible right now on the iPhone. The first thing you want to do when setting up iCloud Sync is to click on this iCloud button in the toolbar and enable iCloud Sync. When you do that, you're going to be prompted to ask if you are sure you want to enable Sync. Click on Enable Sync and you'll see that Voyager, which is the name of my Mac, is now registered as a device. When I go over to the iPhone and uh, switch over to the uh, Tools screen and then click on I uh, iCloud Sync, you'll see that Voyager is now listed there. That means iCloud Sync is working correctly. It has synced the file that Tapforms generated to indicate that it has registered with iCloud in Tapforms. When I enable iCloud Sync, I get prompted the same way on iPhone, and you'll see now that iPhone 5S is now displayed in the listing of registered devices. Now, I can just click off here and then click on again to refresh this list and we should see in a matter of a few moments the um, iPhone 5S appear here in the listing. Okay, now we see the iPhone 5S is listed as a registered device on the Mac as well. So both devices see each other. Now, in order to get the changes uh, that we have on the Mac over to the iPhone, we're just going to click on the Sync, uh, the Upload to iCloud button down at the bottom right uh, of the window here, and Tapform's Mac has just sent the changes that it has up to iCloud. And in a few moments, what we'll see is the status bar on the iPhone will change to show that it's syncing the changes from uh, from iCloud. Now you'll see that all of the changes and the, the updates that we have on the Mac are now moved over to the iPhone. Now if we want to make a change uh, to something on our iPhone, we could just say, you know, tap on a form here, maybe add a new record and put in an item name here. Say we bought an iPhone 5S from today, put it in our computer expense types category, and maybe we would purchase purchased it uh, right from Apple, and we paid $3.99 for it. And let's grab a photo that we are going to take a picture of here. We'll just use this receipt that we already have on screen, but it might be a receipt you have in your pocket. And if I uh, go back here, we can see that we've got all of our data now. Now, in order to send that data over to Tapform's Mac, all I need to do, I can uh, use this uh, quick way of uh, synchronizing from the iPhone up to uh, iCloud over to the Mac by just pulling down and initiating the uh, sync to iCloud. So then the iPhone starts syncing, and then uh, in a moment you'll see the Mac begin to uh, sync as soon as it's notified that there's data for it to process. And there we go, we can see that there's another uh, record that was added to the Mac side. So I click on that record and I can see our receipt and all of our data here. Now maybe what I want to do is I want to enter in a description on my Mac and have that uh, synced over to the iPhone. So. I'll just say iPhone 5S with Retina Display and Touch ID Fingerprint Scanner. And let's maybe uh, add a, a location here. And we can uh, grab a location or you know, maybe I can type in something else like say, uh, I don't know, let's say I, uh, I put in uh, Big Ben uh, in London just because I went there this summer and it's a pretty cool place. So I save that 
and we can see the purchase location is in there and maybe I've also approved this expense and then maybe I also want to uh, make uh, this font a little bit larger and I want to make it bold and maybe I want to make it blue. Now all I do now is click the sync uh, upload to iCloud button on the Mac and that'll send all the changes from the Mac over to the iPhone that's uh, sitting there waiting for notifications from iCloud. You can see it started to sync, syncing from Voyager and it's updating and we can see now if I go into that form and I tap on the iPhone 5S we can see there we have now our description, we have our location, the expense has been approved. If I tap on the location here we can see it brings up the map. There's uh, Big Ben Tower in London. And we're good. We can see that everything is there now. And there you have it. That's iCloud Sync in tap forms on Mac and iOS.